Hi, Mr. Ford here, and welcome to the basics of electricity, magnetism. Let's get started. So what is magnetism and what are magnets? Magnets are metallic items that through one process or another exhibit the properties of magnetism. Magnets have a north and south end, known as the north and south poles. Regardless of what side of the magnet you're using, they will attract and connect to metallic objects. Magnets repel from the same pole, but attract to the opposite poles. The act of magnetism is created by a magnet's magnetic field. The field is illustrated here in this picture using arrows. Magnetic field lines are part of a closed loop, and the lines continue inside the magnet back out to the north end. Magnetic fields move from the north to south poles. Where do the names north and south pole come from? Well, they come from this place, Earth. You're probably familiar with it. What you might not know is that Earth is a magnet with a north and south pole. This can be a bit confusing though because the north pole is actually the magnetic south pole and the south pole is actually the magnetic north pole. We named magnets north and south pole because when you hang a magnet on a piece of string the north side points towards the north pole. The northern part of the magnet is attracted to the southern part of Earth's magnetism. This is the principle to which basic compasses use. Magnets come in a variety of shapes and sizes. They can be as small as the needle of a compass, strong enough to pick up an assortment of metal parts, and large enough to carry thousands of pounds of recycled materials. I'm Mr. Ford, and this has been Basics of Electricity, Magnetism. Content covered in this video included what a magnet is, the names of either side of a magnet, a definition for a magnetic field, why we named the north and south poles of the magnet so north and south, and some different examples of magnets we use in real life. 